bit lost. Okay, I wanna quickly bring everyone up to date so that my very important announcement makes sense. So, a few weeks ago, I did my first ever Golden Trail Series race. It went horribly. It was Pikes Peak Ascent, nearly retired in the middle of it, but that's past the point. Now, the Golden Trail Series is like what the World Majors are to tennis or what the Diamond League is to track. It's a series of races across the globe where the best trail runners in the world compete. And at each race, depending on what place you get, you can score a certain amount of points. And then those points are tallied up over the course of the regular season and then at the end of that there is a final where the 30 top ranked athletes in the world compete to see who can garner the most points and win the world title. So after Pikes Peak I did not retire and I went and ran another Golden Trail Series race, Mammoth Trail Fest. And there I got ninth place, which actually was enough to get me into the 28th ranked spot and earn me a place in the final. So in a couple weeks, I will be traveling to Italy to compete in the Golden Trail Series final, which I'm so excited about. I literally can't even explain it. After Pikes Peak, I was just doubting myself and my ability to compete at the world level of trails but now I'm doing it yeah I'm so excited for all of it and you know bringing all of you along so yeah with that said let's get into a good long run day in the life lift working towards competing against the best trail runners in the world yeah <laughs> trail run today I'll be hydrating with element which should come as no surprise because it is simply what I do I have been using element for about six months at this point I put it in my bottles whenever I'm going out on the trails and even if I'm not on the trails if I'm on the bike or at the pool or in the gym I'm relying on Element's scientifically based ratio of electrolytes to keep me well hydrated. Element tastes great and provides me exactly what I need and nothing I don't. Right now, they are offering a free sample pack of all eight flavors with any order to my viewers. So go to drinkelement.com slash or go to the link in my description. And stay salty, my friends. So as I'm doing the final preparations to get ready for this run, I just wanted to talk about something that I've been focusing on a lot lately, which is having a growth mindset. And that basically just means that instead of worrying about being able to maintain where I'm at and not regressing, I'm focusing a lot on trying to constantly move forward, be better, think about ways that I can improve and level up instead of worrying about falling backwards. Also, another huge development, I've learned how to carry my flask with me by using a buff so I don't have to use a vest. But anyways, that's a mindset I'm taking to all my training lately. My watch says my first mile was 11 and a half minutes. I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going that slow, but then again, maybe I am. Cause I am going uphill. So like, totally possible. Anyways, a little over a mile in over two miles in. Not much of note thus far. Oh, I did get stung by a bee, so that was unfortunate. It's all part of the game, you know? Three miles in, the sun is out. It's beautiful. Also, I really, really need to pee. Oh, so much better. Four miles in, woot. It's crazy how much further four miles feels on trails. <laughs> that felt like five and a half, maybe six. Over. Five miles. It's really, really pretty. Beautiful. Six miles. This is incredible. A bit lost. A bit lost. Over seven miles in. Also, I'm back on the trail, baby. Miles in. 
All I have to do is run back to my car. It's so pretty. Over 10 miles in. Double digits. 11 miles. It's kind of technical in here. Lots of rocks and roots and stuff. 12 miles. It's really not that fun of a downhill. It's like annoying technical. You can't cruise it, but you also don't really feel that cool. It's just like dodging rocks. It's so fun. It's not bad. It could just be bad. 13 miles. Literally nothing exciting has happened. I'm still having a good time though. It's not that exciting. That doesn't mean it isn't fun. 14 miles. I wish I could keep going. Because the downhill is like fully rejuvenated me. But now I feel very fresh. That would be nice if I could do like 20 miles. Done. That was highly enjoyable. I had a great time, you know. I wish I'd been able to rip a little more on the way down, but it wasn't really conducive to that, so wasn't a quick down. The goal today was just to get time on feet and chill in the trails, and I definitely did that. It's also crazy that I can just go run in the trails for two hours and 47 minutes with no music, no company, and just not be bored whatsoever. Like, if I'm on the bike for that amount of time, I need three separate forms of entertainment to keep me from dying of boredom. Oh, I love running. It's so fun. For the drive back, I have a protein shake. It is oatmeal cookie flavor. It's delicious. Yeah. After I got home, I just mixed together some leftovers for lunch and made a poke bowl. I also threw some spicy mayo on top because I realized it'd be about 10 times better with that and just enjoyed that. It was absolutely delicious. And then afterwards, we took Georgie for a walk. I can let forgetting to bring one of these poop bags outside ruin my day. Comment down below if you ever heard the term I'm not putting that in the video. Boys are running. What kind of paces are we talking here? <laughs> not too quick. Time to go lift. I actually, against all odds, was able to convince Alexis to come lift with me on a Saturday, so it was a huge win before I even got there. And it was actually a great lift. As usual, I just did a lot of running specific and unilateral movements, which are great and help with injury prevention. And also, now that I'm on trails, having strong legs is more important than ever because somebody's got to be able to hit the brakes when I go down. And if it's not my legs, I don't know who it is. That's all for now, folks.